okay so what is the course outcome so by end of this course you should be able to automate any web application using cypress you bet on that okay so you know the reason because we gonna discuss each and every component on web ui and see how to automate that using cypress so with all the concepts what you gonna learn from this course you should be able to pick up any website and complete automation using cypress tool and also you will understand how cypress is unique compared to other automation tools and how to build non flaky and stable automation test cases so there are instances where you can come across flaky tests by failing it randomly but using cypress you will have some knowledge on how to make sure that test is stable and will have a consistent execution every time okay there are some methods which you can do you will implement them using the help of jquery because jquery will have direct access to browser events so you will take jquery help sometimes to build stable automation okay and next is that you can mock network requests and responses using cypress so not only ui testing you will also be able to alter network responses and do some edge case testing by mocking the data which you will not see for any other web automation tool okay so you will use cypress to test front end and to alter the back end so you have complete power on your browser and you will be able to utilize all the features what cypress offers to do stable automation and of course every course of mine come with framework design which we will implement from scratch so you should also be able to design one end to end cypress testing framework from scratch with all the testing standards by end of this course and at the end you will just integrate this framework with ci cd pipeline with jenkins and i'm going to teach few interesting concepts in jenkins as well on how to parameterize the global variables in your jenkins build so that will really really help you to create this job and run in different environments on fly without touching your code so don't worry you will understand when you will uh, come to this section and coming to course prerequisite you need not require any prerequisite knowledge for 90% of the lectures okay everything i will take care by teaching from scratch level but there is one section where we deal about api request could be the last but second one so there i expect you to have some basics of api knowledge that's it and apart from that for all the remaining topics you need not have any course prerequisite knowledge and yes cypress is taught on java script but if you check out my initial lecture i told that 90% of cypress code is written using cypress commands so you will not use javascript heavily when dealing with cypress but whenever we come across javascript i will take care teaching it parallelly with cypress so you need not worry about javascript basics that inbuilt taken care in part of the course all right so that's all the prerequisites and the outcome i will quickly go through the syllabus to make sure what all topics we are covering as part of this course and then we can wrap this lecture here yeah so we will start with introduction of cypress which we already did and we are in the um architecture and course syllabus walk through lecture now thereafter immediately now we will start with cypress installation and setting up our project and visual studio code editor so once installation is done i will introduce cypress components test runner and what are command line features we have to run your cypress first test case and thereafter we will jump into writing our basics of cypress test automation and what are the different locator strategies available and how to construct them and how to build assertions and handling invisible elements so basically we will deep dive into the core cypress commands 
and see how to use them to automate our web applications. And Cypress is an asynchronous nature. We will also see how to handle promise using Cypress. Okay. And then we will deep dive into the core web controls like checkboxes, radio buttons, drop down, um, invisibility of elements, alerts, pop-ups, which are common for any automation tool. Okay, so you need to understand how to automate all these web UI controls. So we will see each and everything. And then we will also see what are limitations to automate frames and child windows with Cypress. And thereafter, once every UI component automation is done, we will switch to framework part in constructing the framework. I have divided whole framework into five different parts. So in part one, we will understand about Cypress fixtures and how to write reusable custom commands. And thereafter, page object design and test parameterization, data drive and testing, and how to set configuration properties and environmental variables in part three. And in part four, I'm going to introduce one more component of Cypress, which is dashboard. And this comes into handy when you want to record your complete execution and take screenshot on each and every page and all your test execution results are reported into Cypress dashboard. Okay. And in the part five, we will build some NPM scripts in package.json so that you can integrate this project comfortably with Jenkins and handle it from there. And this is very cool topic, which we're going to end our framework discussion with this after we integrate with CI CD Jenkins tool. Okay. And then we will see the XHR testing, which is API mocking. So here I expect you to have some basic knowledge on API, which will help you to follow easily. And so with that, we will wrap this complete course. And at the end, I will also give some tips on how to um, put Cypress experience in your profile and how to let recruiters know that you have Cypress knowledge. So with that tips, we will wrap up this complete course. Okay. So don't worry. All the topics are covered as part of this tutorial. So you just need to follow everything in sequence and take the advantage of this course syllabus. All right. So that's all I have guys. So in the next lecture, let's jump into Cypress installation and take it from there. Thank you.